Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. As you can see behind me, I have a 2020 uh, Yamaha Wave Runner. It is a GP1800. And uh, it is in for the Versaliner treatment on the belly of the ski. Let's talk about it. Okay, so here's a two position trailer. We pull those in the shop. I have my engine hoist and my sling and I lift the skis off the trailer onto the sling and I get down there and well I just got everything scuffed everything is good to go and then I wiped it all down with a uh, prep solution that we make and so it is ready to be taped up and then sprayed so uh, that's the process we pull the trailer in we get the engine hoist over here, we lift the ski off the trailer, make sure it's all secure, and be as comfortable with this situation as you can, <laughs> and be as careful around the situation as you can. Um, so, I'm gonna be applying my Versaliner in black and smooth from basically this body line down. Um, this ski does have some chunks missing nothing seems to be coming apart so i'm hoping i can get a good seal with the uh versa liner should be absolutely fine um i cleaned out all the craters and stuff like that there's no damage to the fiberglass at all if there were damage to the fiberglass i would i would definitely fill these but because it's right at the fiberglass, I feel like the liner is going to cover this up, seal it all in so it doesn't continue to crack and that kind of thing. Uh, and then we'll cover everything up and make it look great. Um, he's all the way down to whatever they use to prime anyway. And you can see there's some chunks there that are missing. But again, fiberglass is all fine I don't see any issues with the fiberglass that are concerning uh, nothing is through none of the fiberglass is damaged but now it's all cleaned up and ready to get lined so um, I will probably put some adhesion promoter on the just this area just because it's gonna need it I'll put a little bit here where it's missing some stuff too uh, but I just sanded the bottom of this thing uh, I used uh, 120 grit around the edges and then I like to use my uh, nylon wheel on the rotary to give me my good etch or key if you will for the liner to stick There's some issues there again none of these issues are real concerning to me um, basically because we're going to be sealing it all in with a watertight seal which is what the Versaliner is. Um, so it should seal it and it should be absolutely fine. I have covered uh, worse areas than that with liner, but if they were any worse than that, I would absolutely uh, talk to the owner about filling them prior to covering them up. But like I said, if the fiberglass was damaged, it'd be one thing. There's no issues with any of the fiberglass underneath. I think it will be just fine. And um, we're just gonna cover it right up. So um, I'm gonna get this thing taped up and get prepped to spray and then wipe it one final time. Um, and then uh, I'll get rolling with spraying on some Versaliner. I'm going to use an HPLV gun with the Versaliner. Um, I got a new one to spray this stuff with, uh, which is right here. This is from TCP Global. Um, this actually, the brand is actually AeroPro right here. Um, I got the two millimeter nozzle and the two and a half just to spray the Versaliner. Um, I do have this Aerospro, AeroPro A610, which is the new version of the R500, which is this gun that I've been preaching about for a while. Um, the problem is the 2.0 millimeter tips, this one actually has one, uh, 
you don't know what I had to do to get that. It, I mean, it, the, the, the 2.0 tip is difficult to find, but it is perfect for those large chunks uh, that we shoot in the VersaCoat uh, of metallics. So uh, we also need a two millimeter tip to spray the VersaLiner. So this is gonna be my dedicated metallics gun. So I'm not gonna shoot VersaLine out of that, but this is gonna be my dedicated VersaLiner gun. Um, I may end up getting another one of these but for now, this is what I need to shoot the liner, and I'm going to go ahead and finish this thing up with the prep, and I'll bring you back before I start shooting. All right, party people. She's ready to be sprayed. I got the compressor pressurized, and it's ready to go. Just got to load my gun and start shooting. So I've got the intake grate all taped up back here I've got those gouges really clean and nothing is chipping so we're gonna put the uh, Versa liner in there and basically use it as the glue so it should be fine um, I used my nylon brush to scuff it all up I wiped it down with my prep solution twice once before taping after I sanded and once after taping and now it's time to get this thing lined all right i'll bring you back in a few minutes we're going to put an extra heavy coat on and we'll be back shortly to show you that all right peeps all done now i gotta pull the tape get it back on the trailer looks great nice and smooth texture those areas are sealed up real well they are not going to get any worse but it's kind of where we're at looks awesome very happy with how these come out every time they just look awesome and they're incredibly durable so looks good to me there we go all right we get this thing unmasked and back on the trailer and i'll bring you back to see the final product when it's demasked and all that. All right guys, real quick. I have demasked this thing. It does look absolutely amazing. Um, you can see the work I did around the intake grate. It looks awesome under there. Taped up all this. Well, that looks awesome and everything looks great um, I put a half a gallon of product on this same as I usually do so it's it's essentially four light coats that I put on here uh, and then with the last coat I just kind of burn up what's left and just spray it everywhere so this is VersaLiner, our marine grade liner material in smooth. So we produce this product with no rubber chunks, just like you see here. Rubber chunks can be added for more traction and for more thickness. So the thickness is a bigger, thicker barrier uh, for rocks and oyster beds and that kind of things to gouge without cutting into the material on a ski most people prefer it smooth however it has been my experience that even texture does not change the performance of the ski but people don't like it or people don't prefer the look of the texture so i generally don't even offer texture on skis but 
either way you slice the pie, texture is better. But on skis and on boat bottoms, I generally will put it on smooth just like you see it. Unless you stress to me the importance of protection, I'm talking about even better than this will give you. This is gonna give you awesome protection. The textured version has the rubber in it, which is just another layer of protection, another level of protection, if you will. Um, so anyway, there's that bad boy all done. So, I'll probably shoot the outro whenever I get it back on the trailer, but I'm gonna let it sit here until my client gets here, and then I'll put it back on the trailer. So I'll just do the outro now. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, as usual. If you need your ski done uh, in my VersaLiner product, I can do this in any color. Black is the standard situation um and i usually do these for 550. so i charge 550 bucks to apply my versa liner on the bottom of your ski so if you'd like that done give me a call it's about 50 dollars less than the competitors are charging um and i charge an additional 100 dollars for color um but if it comes down to they will give it to you, their product is at the same price, and you're not already sold on mine because we've tested against all the fancy stuff that's out on the market right now, and mine excels every time. Same thing with all the rest of my products. If they don't beat everything I try them against, I don't try to sell them to you. So, looks awesome. 813-846-4406. Infinity Custom Works, Gary Dean Detailing, and DetailJuice.com. If you need me, let me know. You can check me out on Instagram. I'll put it right here, gary.dean.35. So now I'm going to open the bay door and get it ready to put it back on the trailer when my client gets here. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.